السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک آن مائی چینل خسن لدی ود انادر ویڈیو آف مائی ٹیک آن دی آن گوئنگ سچویشن ان غزہ اینڈ دی ڈسٹرکشنز ریگارڈنگ دس وار اور ریلیٹنگ دس وار ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ایز یوجل اباؤٹ دی سچویشن ان غزہ اینڈ دی آرٹیکلس ہیرٹس آرٹیکل دی اسرائیلی نیوز پیپر ہیرٹس آرٹیکل وچ ایکسپوز اسرائیلس لائز اینڈ دیئر propaganda film that or that uh, documentary of 40 to 50 minutes that they have screened in USA, UK and in different capitals of the world, especially United States, in EU states, in London as uh, many, other public, uh, many other online portals and publications have made a note or made the video or the vlogs about that IDF propaganda film which was made and shown to the journalists uh, around the world. to create sympathy for the cause of uh, Israel or IDF as they have killed almost 16,000 people just, just after the resumption of the war since the Friday morning they have killed around 900 people and it, it is now almost 16,000 people 70% of these people are either children the, the dead ones are either the children under the age of 18 or the women they are the most targeted in these bombings and they are the most uh, i have to say that uh, they lost uh, the, the life they are the most uh, the fatal casualties are almost of women and children 70% of them are either women or children or people or humans under 18 children under 18 so they are just dying like nine pins genocide is genocide is gaza is continuing it is more than genocide now it's something like that it is genocide plus it is something big as israel kept on intensifying their bombing on southern gaza now in which they asked the people of north to flee to south gaza to move to south gaza now they have declared south gaza as the war zone and they are intensifying the bombing al nasr hospital in gaza is flooded with the bodies hospital in gaza are flooded with the dead bodies 900 people have been killed since the resumption of the wars in last three days israeli air strikes israeli army israeli navy they have killed 900 people and now they are targeting uh, southern gaza han yunus now they are asking people of gaza to move towards the coastal line of uh, han yunus the mediterranean sea or moving to, or move towards the rafa crossing or the rafa district and it is their original plan as it often talks about that that they want to push push um, all the push out all the palestinians from gaza all the gazans from gaza they want to amp empty gaza they want to empty the whole enclave of gaza they don't want any name any sign of any arab any arab muslim any palestinian muslim left in gaza they don't want even the memory of gaza muslims or the palestinians in gaza they want to push them out of gaza and they are doing same to the people of in, in west bank in all other occupied territories in west bank it is israel's plan that they are going to push out the people from west bank to jordan and they have to the, 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 and there is nothing left of palestinian authority in the, there as uh, benjamin netanyahu in a press conference on saturday said that he will he is not recognizing any palestinian authority he is not recognizing any oslo accord he is not recognizing any peace accord it only meant that that he is going for the original plan which israelis or the state of israel have from 1948 that there are no palestinians in palestine there is no palestinian state on the ground there is nothing nothing memory memoir or a sign of palestinians in palestine they want to just throw out all the palestinians all the arabs out of palestine they want the israeli state only they don't want any second state in palestine they just want the state of israel so they are working on that plan because these bombing on khan yunus on the southern part of gaza on the gaza strip intensify it only means that they want to push out the gazans to either the mediterranean sea that mediterranean sea submerged them the 2.3 millions or they have to live in egypt in this uh, 
desert of Sinai and the tent and in the tent cities. So it is uh, at is it around 900 people have been killed since the uh, resumption of the war on Friday morning since uh, the IDF broke the truce and start bombing the Gaza and uh, the refugee camps in the uh, refugee camps schools and southern Gaza northern Gaza central Gaza they are not lefting, uh, left anything and the ground battle is going on in northern part of Gaza hand to hand battle is happening and according to independent sources or the sources who are not taking the side of anyone they are saying that the ground invasion actually is not that successful compared to the uh, airstrikes or the uh, naval bombing that they are doing because uh, the military capability or the military might in the air bombing and in the naval bombing or in the shelling is higher or israel have higher capability to compare to uh, hamas or islamic jihad the, the, the resistance group or the defenders so in ground battle hamas have the upper hand they have not uh, been proven like a, a, a wall a paper wall they are fighting and they are giving the tough fights because they have in an estimate they have killed more than hundreds uh, soldier in one uh, one bombing there are different numbers you are saying that 100 soldiers have been killed in uh, one part of northern gaza or around 60 soldiers israel have only claimed that they have only killed two uh, the hamas has only they have only lost two soldiers but there are different reports uh, reports contradictory to each other according to hamas or the sources few sources which uh, says hamas supports hamas they are saying that around 100 soldiers were killed in one blast or in the one uh, rocket fired by hamas few say 60 israel only accepted two so israel are losing people but let's come back to the video that uh, Israeli newspapers are themselves saying that there are most there are a lot of lies made by IDF and the state of Israel accord, uh, regarding 7th October 2023 Hamas attack on Israel and they are saying that now it's uh, what Israel is doing uh, or IDF is doing in Gaza now they are doing it on purpose they are targeting civilians and these reports or these things that I am saying are actually said by Israeli newspapers, Israeli independent sources, Israeli human rights sources, Israeli research or the people who are working with the military or who are working with the top officials of the military or the soldier or they have interviewed the soldiers who were, who, were, who were involved in the operation capability of Israeli army or IDF. They are saying now they are deliberately we targeting in uh, civilians in Gaza civilians in Gaza to kill just one Hamas commander the according to Israeli reports that that they have killed some 3000 Hamas fighters but most the people who have been killed there is no official confirmation by Hamas that how many soldiers they have lost or how many fidaeens that they have lost but according to Israeli soldiers if we uh, take them on the face value they said that they have killed 3000 Hamas fighters but in other thing if you look 16,000 civilian casualties which includes 70% of women and children 70% of women and children have been killed or been killed by Israel so it is an open genocide it's an ethnic cleansing of Israel uh, of Palestinian people now let's get back uh, get back to the uh, Haaretz article a uh, Israeli newspaper, a uh, Israeli daily, a very famous newspaper. They have published an article about the lies that Israel or the state of Israel or the people who were involved in the rescue mission on uh, 7th of October after the Hamas attack or uh, uh, were involved in the rescue missions or were involved in fighting Hamas or were involved in recovering or helping the people after the attack. Uh, the Herod's uh, article say that Israel and IDF, the state of Israel and IDF have made a lot of lies and they have pointed out seven lies that story that they pushed around the global world, around the global media and in Israel that Hamas has did that. So I'm going to read out those seven points that Herod's article shows or expose 
the uh, lies and false claims of uh, is, uh, IDF or Israeli state. As Haaretz, uh, Haaretz article have pointed out seven false claims which don't have any evidence, seven lies that Israeli army or the rescue operators or the rescue missions people involved in rescuing after the 7th of October attack have made. First of all, the lie was created that 40 babies were beheaded and then Israel uh, channel I-24, Israel 24 broadcast it on the channel and then it made to the international uh, newspapers around the world front page. It is a lie. There is no evidence of this claim or anything that could support this that that 40 babies were beheaded by Hamas. It's a fake story. It's a fiction story created by these uh, rescuers and those army people who were in that area it have it have no uh, substance to it second lie is that they have made that uh, babies were burned it's another lie which were made by idf in israeli defense forces spokesperson who later retracted it by saying that he misspoke there were no burned children there were no burned children, no babies, no babies or children were burned. They were killed in firing. There were no burned, there were no arsoning by Hamas. Third one, they said that babies and children were hang on the clothesline. Were made up story by the rescuers who were rescuing in and the reservist soldiers who were in the area when they were combing the area for Hamas fighters. They made up these stories and then fed it to the Israeli media who made it like that it is something like what happened. It is a false it, it is a false story with no evidence. It has no substance, no claim, no base. The fourth lie that uh, the Benjamin Netanyahu told Mr. Joe Biden, American president, that uh, Hamas fighters bound the children together and then they tortured them, beheaded them, executed them, killed them. God know what they have made up, Israelis. It also doesn't have any f factual uh, thing, substance to it. It is a false claim. The fifth one, babies burned in oven. It is something like that they found a chicken burned in oven and they said it's a baby. It's another false claim by IDF, by the rescuers in that area. There is no such incidents reported by Israeli police or the neighborhood where this incident has actually been pointed out. The community of that neighborhood is saying that there are no burned children anywhere in that neighborhood or in that community. The f uh, that was the fifth line that baby was burned in oven. There are no, it's it's, it's an unfactual thing. Six uh, lie that they have spoken more often. Teenagers burn. Zaka, a rescue operation organization, said that they saw 20 burned bodies of teenagers in the areas of Kafa and Aska. The figure did not match the description because there were no uh, teenagers or no boys around 6 to 15 or 7 to 14 years of age were not found in those communities and the evidence or the uh, people living in that area said that there were no 20 burnt teenagers or 20 children were burned in that area so it's another lie it's a ha ha Herod's article an Israeli papers article and they are exposing the lies IDF made about 7th of October. The seventh one is the most, uh, I think, a regressive or the most uh, like a movie sort of an idea. They said that Hamas uh, shot a pregnant woman and then they remove her fetus from the womb. Uh, according to the people that uh, El 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 Ali Berry, Ali Berry, a neighborhood or a community in Israel, they say that there was no such an incident uh, in that area where a pregnant woman was shot and then her fetus were cut out of the body. There were 87 people do killed by Hamas in that area, but it doesn't include this description of any victim were found. These stories were also made by the soldiers and the people who were involved in the rescue or in the coming operation afterwards. 
so these stories are the made up stories and then one another thing that harrods article didn't quote the eighth one which i am going to say that they said that hamas fighters or islamic jihad fighters actually raped israeli women actually raped uh, sexually assaulted israeli women there are no proof of that even that idf propaganda film couldn't provide any sort of proof because they said that that the uh, footage or the videos that they are playing in that uh, 40 to 50 minutes documentary which were screened in israeli uh, embassies around the world especially in western countries like united states united kingdom eu Uh, there are no proof of any sexual violence by hamas fighters or islamic jihad fighters there were not proof of uh, any rapes any uh, thing like that they, they took women because if they have raped women in israel during 7th october 8th october and 9th october which is israeli army accepted that that till the 9th october hamas fighters were in control of few neighborhood in southern lebanon in, in southern uh, Uh, part of israel but uh, uh, but after that they are uh, they took back the control of those areas around 150 or 200 uh, hamas fighters entered and uh, also with islamic jihad people entered in uh, uh, israel on 7th of october there are no proofs of rape because if they have raped any woman these uh, hostages which were released in last week in the truce uh, in the one week's truce truce of one week the woman the uh, teenage girls the old uh, woman they should have actually says uh, said something that they were tortured they were raped or uh, they were made to do something against their will but all female uh, hostages who are released israeli hostages whether they are israeli or any foreigner or the uh, any foreigner jews they didn't even said that hamas fighters touch them or uh, uh, they uh, suffered any sort of a torture any sort of a sexual assault any sort of a uh, like that that um, a touch which is a uh, uh dangerous touch to for, for a woman they didn't even said the word and one girl write a letter that she felt a mother um, a one girl's mother write that her daughter said that in hamas captivity she felt like a queen because she felt safe she felt safe so the eighth lie which herod's article or which no one is now speaking that hamas islamic jihad or any fighter who entered on 7th october in israel they didn't rape any woman any israeli woman or any jew woman so it is a blatant lie it is a blatant false claim that israel and idf were feeding to the international community and people like ps morgans christina manpours of cnn and other jackasses of Brit- of uh, western media were hovering on there are no beheadings of children there were no burned bodies of children there are no rape of women there were no pregnant women were shot they just made these things up to rile up people in israel to justify their atrocities their genocide on gaza on the civilians of gaza in the name of 7th october so they just made these things up so it is high time for the world now to finally wake up and see what war crimes israel and the state of israel is committing against the poor people civilians of gaza against the poor humans of gaza against the poor muslims of gaza against the poor palestinians of gaza against the poor palestinians long live islam long live the state of palestine from the river to the sea palestine 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 long live the resistance movement of palestine allah hafiz